We all know Miles Sanders is the RB1 in Philadelphia, and we know Kenny Gainwell nine times out of ten will be backing him up. But who's going to be that short yardage running back? Who's going to be that power back for Philadelphia? What's good, beautiful people? This is your guy, Tone DeShields II second Chalk It Up Sports, where no matter if we win or we lose, we just got charged to the game. Look, I want to talk to you guys about something. Kennedy Brooks, running back currently for the Philadelphia Eagles, 5'11", 209 pounds. The dude is pretty exciting to watch. And look, let me make this clear. Kennedy Brooks is not a burner. He's not a speed guy. That's not really his forte. But he is more so that one cut power back, a very stout frame, a very sturdy frame, runs strong, runs north and south. And when you think about all those things he brings to the table, is it possible that Kennedy Brooks can break in on the 53 man roster? Can Kennedy Brooks be that power back that the Philadelphia Eagles have been needing? Now, I understand that Jordan Howard is always waiting for a call from the Philadelphia Eagles. We know him, he knows us, he's been reliable for the most part, but he has a shelf life. He's getting older. He's not that much older, if I'm being honest, but he's getting older. And injuries have seemed to plague him every time he gets to a certain point in the season. Last year, he had like a shoulder sting or something like that. And I think that was something he was dealing with this, um, the season prior. You know, he just has some ticky tech injuries that have sidelined him for three, four weeks at a time. But that begs the question, should we go younger? Should we go with someone who has less miles on their body in that power back role? And Kennedy Brooks, based on what I've seen at Oklahoma, he knows how to get yardage and he knows how to get yardage when there's not much yardage to get. He understands running lanes and he knows how to follow his blockers. Like I said, he's not fast by any stretch of the imagination. But what he does have is he has he has a shiftiness about him. He has that wiggle. He's not the easiest guy to bring to the ground. And taking it a step further, what I love about him the most more than his wiggle, more than his ability to just break break plays wide open. He has this balance about his game. He has stability about, about the way he runs. You know, he takes hits, right? But somehow, some way, he, they just bounce off of him or guys just can't bring him to the ground. You know, and sometimes the, the, sometimes the most smallest of tackles are the ones that knock you down, a guy slapping your ankle or a guy that's bumping into you, or, or, or whatever it may be because of momentum, right? But he knows how to maintain his balance as a runner. And I, and that's what I love about his game at the very most. He's someone who's not easy to put on the ground. And that's the kind of running back we need at Philadelphia. We need someone who's not afraid of contact, someone who doesn't waste too much time in the backfield. That's another thing about his game that's pretty exciting. He's patient. And normally patience isn't really exciting, right? Just and Just by the words themselves. But being a running back that's patient, allowing your offensive line to create the lanes for you, that's the perfect running back for what the Philadelphia Eagles do. The Philadelphia Eagles are offensive line driven. We go as the offensive line goes. And the offensive line creates plenty of running lanes. And sometimes Miles Sanders can be too eager. Sometimes he picks the wrong hole. Sometimes Miles Sanders just – overthinks things and he dances too much whereas though kennedy brooks no, very north south doesn't hesitate picks the hole makes the whole work and i'm not saying kennedy brooks is better than miles sanders i'm not saying that at all but what i am saying is i believe kennedy brooks can break this this three-man roster if he shows some signs in training camp you know can he be that short yardage back for us can he be that running back that we use you know when we're in that you know within 20 to 15 yards at the goal line you know and another thing about his game that's pretty cool is he has shown an ability to run the ball out of the shotgun. You know, not many power backs are comfortable running the ball out of the shotgun, but he's shown he's very capable. Um, and I think that just adds to his patience, right? His ability to just size up what the offensive line and, and the defensive line, you know, are creating for him. And he just takes it and runs with it, man. Like I said, like my most exciting trait about him is not just the patience, but his stability, his balance as a runner. And I think that would be tremendous being in the NFL because guys are going to be coming at you looking right, and you're going to need balance as a runner. You know, there's some guys that just fall no matter what happens. They just always fall. In. You know, they can't keep their balance. Kennedy Brooks has great balance at the running back position, and I think it would be pretty um, pretty dope to see what he can do uh, for the Philadelphia Eagles. But, you know, overall we'll see. You know, can he challenge Boston Scott? Can he challenge uh, Jason Huntley? 
you know, it all remains to be seen. I know Huntley is trying to make a name for himself on special teams, but he hasn't really stuck out. Um, I know Boston Scott is someone we've always trusted. And, you know, Boston Scott always gets rotated in and out if maybe Kenny Gainwell isn't doing his job or Miles Sanders gets hurt. So we'll see how things pan out. But overall, I would love to see Kennedy Brooks really get it done in live game action. I think it would be exciting to have somebody young back there, someone who has a fire, someone, who's, so someone who doesn't have as many miles on their body. And you'll be able to just you'll be able to see them really pop, you know. But that's just my thought. I want you guys to comment below and tell me what you guys think about Kennedy Brooks. Am I off the reservation when it comes to Kennedy Brooks? Am I overestimating his talent? Um, do you guys think he won't be able to crack this 50 man roster? Will, will he always remain behind? Will, will he always remain behind Jason Huntley or Boston Scott? You know, are there any situations that Kennedy uh, Kennedy Brooks can benefit from? I want you guys to tell me below in the comment section and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm your humble host, Tone the Shields II from Chalking Up Sports, where no matter if we win or if we lose, we just got charges to the game. One love, stay humble, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay hungry.